Is it time to leave social media altogether? Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. We have a new month with a new mug, a new poster, new t-shirt. Here it is, agape. And uh, you can see Jesus' death on the cross in the middle of a heart. And just in time for for uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, we're excited for those. Also, we've got some great new shirts. And I know we're always adding to our collection. This is a cool one. Are you ready? And it says, I like two types of music, heavy and metal. <laughs> Isn't that great? And if you're not into the shirt, yes, we have the mug. We have the mug. Look at that. Heavy and metal. These are cool. And of course, drinking a little Headbangers Brew in the mug today. Headbangers Brew and whole bean, ground, decaf, K-cups, however you want it, we got it. It's our coffees and, and that and the mugs and everything go to help the homeless. And uh, all of the proceeds do right here. We are metal, we are family.com. So social media, here's the question for today. Dear Pastor Bob, I feel like I'm being directed to leave social media, but I'm not sure if it's God leading me or just me. I've stayed on social media to share the gospel to encourage others and a way to stay in contact with my grown sons to see photos and videos of them and the grandchildren. But to leave social media has been a nagging feeling for quite some time. And by the way, you're not alone. There are a lot of us that feel this way. I think at this point, if I could honestly leave a lot of social media, I would. And uh, I'm getting a little tired of being mistreated there. <laughs> and you go, oh, poor Pastor Bob, but I, I didn't say it for that reason. I, I just feel like there are better pastures and, uh, you know, if you're watching this on Facebook, congratulations that you actually found me. Uh, I'm getting, I think we decided one sixteenth of the views I used to get because people just can't find it. It's not in the algorithms, even if I try to boost it. And uh, we're being ramped down everywhere. And, you know, it's cancel culture and, uh, you know, you don't think they're going to come for you. They're just picking on, you know, those politicians they don't agree with, and they're picking on these different people. And then they start canceling the Christians, and that's happening. And, you know, it's just a matter of time. So I really do get that. Um, we're trying as hard as we can to be on other social media platforms. Uh, we're on Rumble every day. We're on a few others. We'll be talking about that more. We're actually working on upgrading our website so that it'll also be an app and it'll also be a place you can go to do everything. And so we're excited to get that done and that'll be another place before we lose you all together. If you're not signed up for our mailing list, make sure you do that. That's the link is below, but we don't want to lose you. And this is a good question when it comes in. Should I leave social media? Well, there are a lot of benefits of social media too, and you just named them. You know, it's a good way to to encourage people. It's a good way to keep in touch with folks and to see what they're doing. And uh, I enjoy looking at Instagram pictures and seeing what people are doing, and on Facebook too when I can. Um, but I understand that everything is getting difficult. I understand the cancel culture. There are some social media platforms uh, like Twitter that I left a long time ago and I wouldn't go back and I would encourage people to leave actually, uh, just because of 
things that they've done. And, you know, you, you think, well, that's everybody else. They're not going to come for me. Yeah, they will. <laughs> they will. Work my words. But I have some scripture today that I'd like to read. And uh, it's found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. Philippians 4, 8 and 9. And people ask me from time to time, what translation do you read from? I usually read the Amplified Bible. I love the way it really describes the verses. It's a little wordy, but it's awesome. And we're going to start with the Amplified Bible today and go from there. But, um, but here's what it says. Finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect... Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute, if there is any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. So these are the things we center our thoughts on. And then he says, the things which you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things in daily life. And when you do, the God who is the source of peace and well-being will be with you. So he says, these are the things I want you to think about. And he outlines them and tells us to think about those things. So how does that relate to social media? Well, it relates to anything around us. How much time do I spend with it? How much time am I spending in the controversies with it? How much time am I spending reading things that maybe I shouldn't be reading that are doing me any good and are doing you any good? How much time does it take on those platforms? And am I really centering? I like what it says in the message commentary. And uh, this is one that was written by Eugene Peterson. He's one of my favorite guys. It's not a translation, although they call it the Message Bible. It's uh, his commentary on the verse. But he says, summing it up, friends, I'd say you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not to curse. He just summed up social media, a lot of it, <laughs> didn't he? Seriously. And then he says, put into practice what you learned from me, what you heard and saw and realized. Do that, and God, who makes everything work together, will work you into the most excellent harmonies. Well, I like the way that sounds, and I like the way that feels. And whatever you're filling your mind with is what comes back out again. We talked about that a few days ago. And that's why it's so important that we focus on those things. So what are you doing on social media? What are you reading on social media? What are you involved with? And he says, I, I, I want you to do these things, these things that are true and noble and compelling and the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise and not to curse. And I find myself doing that, you know, looking through news sometimes and be careful what news you read. Most of it isn't news, it's propaganda. You know, good reporters are hard to find these days people that really practice true journalism, unbiased, is extremely hard to find these days. And focusing on the ugly, getting upset. I can't believe this person said that. I can't believe that they have this foundation, whatever. There are days when I don't read the news, I just want to leave it alone and, and, and not touch it. And I... And I won't read most major news sources. I don't trust them. But it says, put into practice what you learned from me. What you heard, what you saw, what you realized. 
do that and God who makes everything work together will work you into his most excellent harmonies. In other words, you'll feel great about it. You'll feel good about it because you're doing what he asked you to do and you're filling your mind with things from above. Man, that's important. So do I leave social media? Well, that's up to you. And I understand if you do. I would say at, at least restrict it. Make sure that you're listening and watching and reading things that are, that are, um, that are going to build you up, that are beautiful, not ugly, that are praiseworthy and not worthy of cussing. <laughs> but make sure that those things that, that, that plug in your faith are things that you're involved with during the day. And think about these things, the Bible says. Well, folks, don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing. <laughs>